Hello, Andrew here with an update about what is on the agenda for the upcoming council meeting this Monday, the 16th of September, and it is a jam-packed agenda. So the main points are uh, something we haven't seen in this term of council, what is called a notice of rescission. And what this is, is it's uh, three councillors, including myself, have actually requested that we review one of the motions that were passed in August in regards to St. Leonard South and actually cancel that motion and debate again uh, whether council should accept an offer from the Department of Planning to have assistance with reviewing the St. Leonard South Master Plan. At the August meeting, the majority of councillors and council resolved that uh, it will request the New South Wales State Government to give its interpretation of the Independent Planning Commission's advice around St. Leonard South. So that'll be an interesting one to see how it goes. Uh, next up, I've moved a motion uh, requesting a specific moratorium on planning proposals within the St. Leonard South area. Essentially, at the moment, developers and landowners could still put up their own requests to change local planning rules, and uh, it's proposed that we request for this moratorium just for that area to give council the time to make a good and proper decision about what should happen with St. Leonard South. Another motion that I know a lot of people are interested in is the climate emergency motions. Uh, there's 900 jurisdictions around the world which have now passed this motion, and and importantly, the motion uh, that has been put forward actually has some practical um, actions that council could take as well to help us to reduce our carbon footprint and uh, improve our use of renewable energy, for example. And then another item which I'm particularly excited about following on from a motion uh, that I passed earlier in the year is in regards to a reverse vending machine. This is where you take your bottles and your cans, cash them in, uh, very popular around uh, uh, New South Wales and the operator of the scheme has actually agreed that the Little Street car park could host one of these facilities. So it's proposed that we get the general manager uh, to commence discussions and enter into a contract. So we finally have a reverse vending machine here in Lane Cove. So there you go, quick rundown of everything that is on the agenda. There's a lot more actually, but they're the main items. As always, if you've got any uh, feedback or suggestions, please share it with me. I always read them. Thank you for watching.